The Model Airplane News crew is always on the go and on the lookout for the hottest new products and planes. Last week, Deborah Claghorn and Jerry Yarish were on location in Toledo, Ohio for the Week Signals Model Expo. Well, we're here in the AeroWorks booth, and I'm with R Rocco here, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this new airplane that we've got. Well, we have the new uh, Laser 200. Like you said, it's a vintage airplane. It's actually one of the first airplanes AeroWorks did about 20 years ago. Uh, very popular then, and seems to be very popular again. One of my favorites. Beautiful airplane. Uh, so what we did is we went ahead and made this in a 30cc size. It's a 76 inch wingspan. The airplane comes in with a DLE 30 or 35, we have a 35 on this right now, right at uh, 11 pounds ready to fly. Uh, high quality hardware, high quality fit and finish. This aircraft even has a quick release canopy hatch. We have everything hidden inside the switches, the fuel filler, so everything is clean and perfect on the airplane. Just a fabulous aircraft. I'm here with Greg Dutzman of Hobbyco, and we're going to talk about the new Helimax Blackhawk, which is a super scale little micro helicopter. And uh, you can can you tell us a little bit more about it? Okay, I will. This is our new Helimax Blackhawk. It is a 143rd scale uh, Blackhawk, and it is a, a four blade rotor head, which is rather unique. Has our tag stabilization system, which is a three axis gyro system. Uh, has a driven tail, uh, which gives you more tail authority and allows you to actually auto rotate and still have tail authority. Has a brushless motor for power, uh, has three servos inside to control the swash plate, comes with a 2S battery, uh, 600 milliamp, lots of power, lots of run time. It comes out of the box just like this, right? Just like this. You pull it right out of the box like this. You charge up the battery and you go. With that, uh, the with radio, that radio? Yes. Yeah, the radio that comes with it. Uh, is a computer radio, has a 10 model memory, uh, all the pitch curves uh, are adjustable, the throttle curves, has your uh, normal idle up mo modes, your throttle hold, dual rates, expo, everything is adjustable on this radio. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Team Associated's new rival electric monster truck is set to hit stores soon, but RC Car Action has the scoop first. Aaron Waldron sat down with the A-Team to get all the details and even took a turn behind the wheel. Hey everybody, it's Aaron Waldron with RC Car Action Magazine. I'm here with Team Associated Design Engineer Josh Anderson. We're out here driving the brand new rival monster truck. This is part of Team Associated's qualifier series of ready to run that they've aimed at the incoming hobbyists with cars that are fast, fun, easy to drive, and really tough. This truck is an electric powered version of the monster truck. It's kind of based off of what the monster GT was that was released a few years ago. Josh, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Well, it's based off the monster GT and the chassis has been extended. The car has been widened, uh, uses the same suspension. So it has all the good supple suspension that's going on. And it's just a fun to drive electric monster truck. It's got front, center, and rear gear differentials, so you can change the fluids in them and adjust the differentials for whatever you like. Just like the shocks, you can adjust them for whatever you want. You know, I noticed that not only is the suspension really beefy on this thing, but it's got a lot of really cool electronics in it too. The servo is a high torque servo, metal gear, and that's water resistant also, so you can go bash with that and get a little splash on it. It's not going to hurt it. And then the motor is a uh, big monster truck motor. I don't know how big. It's a big brushless monster truck motor. I'll have to look at it. This thing's actually very fast for how big it is. And you're saying that, you know, it can run off of two 2S LiPo packs, but this truck actually comes with two uh, Reedy Wolfpack nickel metal batteries that uh, we were running on earlier. And it's actually really quite quick, especially for how big and heavy this thing is. To learn more about Team Associated's rival monster truck, part of the qualifier series, check out the review in the next issue of RC Car Action Magazine. I'm Aaron Waldron. This is Josh Anderson. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check us out on Facebook and let us know what you think of the brand new rival. Festo has taken its inspiration from nature for its latest creation, a highly complex and remotely controlled dragonfly they've named the Bionicopter. Just like its real life counterpart, this ultralight UAV can fly in all directions, hover in midair, and even glide without moving its wings.
The question of the week comes to us from Mike in Philadelphia. Mike asks, is there anything I should know about traveling with my RC equipment? I'm flying to my first big race this summer. Eric Reichert has the answer. I've been to my fair share of travel races, and I can tell you that hitting the road with your RC gear is all about preparation. You want to pack everything so it's secure and protected. A lot of pros use lockable hard plastic chests, but you can also pack up in a hard shell suitcase. Surround your gear with foam, pillows, or even some towels to cushion everything inside. You want to leave things like fuel, cleaning spray, and other flammable items at home. Your destination will most likely be a hobby shop, and these are items that will definitely get confiscated at the airport. If you absolutely have to have it at the race, ship it. You can expect that your RC luggage is going to get a lot of attention at the airport. And as you pack your suitcase, take pictures of everything and provide notes explaining what the items are and how they work so the agents have a firm understanding of what you're looking at. Finally, consider the worst case scenario. As you arrive in California, your gear arrives in Canada. Luggage gets lost all the time, so to avoid a total disaster, always pack your car and your radio on your carry-on. Everything else can be replaced at the track, but if you show up without your car and radio, the only way you're going to be running is on foot. A little forethought is all it takes to make sure all your stuff gets there in one piece. Good luck and have fun. Just when you think you've seen it all, an RC marvel comes along that just blows your mind. This amazing home-built transport airplane is equipped with four tilt wing-mounted rotors and stars in this awesome video posted by Foam and Tape. Special thanks to stunt pilot and director Peter and his video team. Head to your local hobby shop or newsstand, the May issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. Or get it now on airystore.com, iTunes, Amazon, or barnesandnoble.com. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show, and we'll see you next time.